So you have an interview coming in the next few days. What do you do now? So in this video, I'm going to tell you the last minute interview tips that you need in order to have a good shot at clearing your interview. So when I was going through my placements, I did not have anyone to teach me these tips. So I understood all of these. I realized all of these tips by failing four or five times. But now you have me and I'm going to pass on these tips to you that you can absolutely use and have the best shot for your dream company. So let's get into these tips one by one. So the first tip and the most important tip is interview experience. So whatever company you're appearing for, if you're paying for Amazon, you're paying for Microsoft, whatever XYZ company you're appearing for, this is what you need to do. Go on Google, just search XYZ company interview experience geeks for geeks. If you're paying for Amazon, Amazon interview experience geeks for geeks. Any other company like Deloitte, Deloitte interview experience geeks for geeks. So geeks for geeks is a whole archive of interview experiences where people tell their interview experience as in what happened in the interview. And let me tell you why that's important. Because the companies that like hire people, the companies that interview people, they don't devise new problems or new topics at least. What they do is they have a same set of topics, a same set of pattern of problems that they ask each time. Okay, they might not ask the same question, but they have the same pattern that they focus on. So if you read someone's interview experience and he would have mentioned that the company asked me this, 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 and you would get a basic idea that the company focuses on this more or the company focuses on this more. Okay. So some company might be that it, they may be focusing on data structures like tree, some company tree or graph, some company might be there that might be focusing more on data structures like array strings, the basic ones. Some company might focus on OS subjects. Some company might focus on system design. Every company has a unique set of pattern and you need to look into it. So the best way to find that out is using interview experience from Geeks for Geeks archive, or there's one more website called Glassdoor. So Glassdoor also has some interview experiences archive. So you can see from there as well. So Geeks for Geeks and Glassdoor, these two websites you can use to gain the interview experience. Okay, so that was tip number one. Now tip number two that a lot of people overlook is researching about the company and the role. Okay, so researching about the role is utmost important. For example, what role you're appearing for, what is the work in that role? What is the use of that role? What is the benefit of that role in the real world? Okay, because if you're not able to answer a question like that, so if the interviewer asks you what role you're appearing for, what is the use of that? What is the benefit of that? And if you're not able to answer that question, then that sets off a very bad impression because you should know at least what the role is that you're appearing for, right? So research about the role and research about the company. Okay. So at the bare minimum, you should know what the company is doing. You should know what is the model of the company, the business of the company, what it is that they're doing. Because a lot of times in the HR interview or even at the technical interview, they might ask a question like this, especially in the HR interview, it's very important that you show that, that you show them that you have done a little bit of research. You're not just coming there without, you're not doing any homework. That's very important to show. It's very important that you show them that. Okay, before we go on to the next step, I have a challenge for you. So this is what you have to do. Write down in the comments the answer to the question, why should we hire you? So suppose you're in an interview, the interviewer is asking you, why should we hire you? Answer that in the comments. Okay, and I'll select the best comment that I feel is the most appropriate and I'll pin it so that you can see what is a great example to answering a question like that. So go down in the comments, pause the video and write the answer to the question, why should we hire you? Okay, tip number three is revise by writing notes. Okay. So revise the topics that now you've found are important. So like I said, using the interview experience, you would have found that this topic is important. This topic is important. Whatever topic is important, you can make notes of that. You can revise that by making notes, but use handwritten notes. I always feel that when you write something by hand, you have a really great memory of it. And if you're typing it, not so much. So whatever you're revising, have a notebook, have a separate notebook. What I used to do was that I had a notebook and I would solve some common interview questions on that notebook. So I would write the code in the notebook and why? Because in the interview, you might not be asked to write the code in an IDE or in an, you know, uh, coding environment. You might be asked to write the code on a notepad, on a Google doc, or even on a whiteboard. So practice coding some questions on a notebook and write code by hand, write notes by hand, and whatever you write by hand, you're going to have a greater memory of it and you'll be able to recollect it in the interview. So revise the topics which you feel like are important and don't just revise them by looking at them, revise them by making notes. Okay. And if you want to solve some common problems, solve them on your notebook, preferably 
so that you can be prepared in case they ask you to code on wordpad or on a whiteboard okay now the fourth tip is prepare your answers beforehand so some questions you know that they'll be asking definitely like in hr round you know that these questions they'll ask definitely these are predetermined questions or even in technical rounds there are questions that they'll definitely ask you like introduce yourself explain your projects what are you what are you interested in so be prepared to answer these questions beforehand prepare an answer so you can write like an introduction for yourself that you can use every time in an interview or make changes to that so write it down practice that with a friend practice introducing yourself practice explaining your project to a friend and practice hr questions with a friend so you can ask a friend to like ask you hr question like in a mock interview and you can practice with him so this will give you more confidence and more comfortability while you know uh, answering these questions again it would not be the first time that you're answering those questions so prepare these answers beforehand practice them beforehand either with a friend or even in a webcam or a video recording and practice them beforehand so it will be easier for you speaking of confidence that is my fifth and last tip so this is very important okay like confidence is something that is very important in almost every field of life but even in interview it is very important that you have technical knowledge on top of that you have confidence in yourself okay so whatever you saying say it with utmost confidence whatever you doing do it do it with confident confidence it might be nerve wracking to be in an interview it might be you know nerve wracking to answer a question which is very difficult but still try to have confidence in your self try to have faith in yourself and tell yourself that you can do it you know a little bit of positive self positive self talk will definitely help you so be confident be calm be chilled about the interview have a mindset that even if you get selected it's a good thing but if you don't get selected you have more options okay don't go with a do or die attitude that will make you more tense that will make you more anxious be confident know that you'll be able to crack it but have the mindset that it's okay if i fail it's okay to fail okay so don't make yourself anxious by thinking that this is your only option don't make yourself stressed out by thinking that it's your only option be confident be chilled out be relaxed and that will give you the best shot at cracking your placement so these are the five tips now let me give you one bonus tip and the reason i'm keeping this as a bonus tip is because it might not be applicable for everyone so what happens sometimes is that the company mails you a day prior that your interview is going to be with this person at this time so they might mention the name of the interviewer for example i remember i was in vmware's interview and they had mailed me a day forward that uh, your interview will be at 5 pm 6 pm whatever with this person so that given the name of the interviewer so what i did was i uh, like searched him up on linkedin linkedin and saw the text tags that he worked on because did you see that a mosquito just flew by the camera <laughs> yeah so i searched him up on linkedin and i like saw the text tags that he worked in and i thought that he might be asking more about the tech stacks that he's working in or the tech stacks that you know he's comfortable in and i don't know if it's because i searched it up but he did ask about those exact tech stacks okay so it did have a little bit of help but i'm not sure if it might be applicable to your case because most because most of the companies don't even reveal the name of the interviewer right but still if they reveal you can search him on linkedin see you know the text tags and all etc and it might give you a little bit help if at all but the other tips the five tips you can follow them definitely and you'll have a amazing difference if you follow all of them seriously if you revise seriously if you dedicate your time if you've done the hard work then believe in yourself believe that nobody is going to stop you from reaching to your dream company if not today then tomorrow day after tomorrow whatever it may be you're definitely going to succeed if you have put in the work okay so be confident be relaxed be chilled out go for your interview and crack it and if you have any doubts put it in the comments if you want to reach out to me i have mentioned my social media handles on the channel page you can reach out to me there and until next time thank you